Good evening, everyone. This is Bibi Lolita Sagara, Saint Sister, and you're here with me at my first official YouTube channel, Sagara Saint Sister, where I am cigar and tobacco aficionado for 2020, 30 years. So, welcome to the live stream. This is a live stream with chat. So, if you made it here and you want to chat, ask questions and stuff like that, you can. Now, we're all, not only in the United States, but all over the world, we're dealing with the magnitude of COVID-19. So, I'm already like OCD, always have been. So this is like not new practices that I have to get used to. Like when you cough, sneeze, Cup your mouth. That's just good etiquette. But not everyone has it. Or else we probably wouldn't be in the situation that we're in now. So we're talking about new words. Social distancing and all that stuff. But we must adhere to this. And, you know, I get my daily dose. My nightly dose of news. And reports happen. So, we really need to come together as one, all of us, and do what we need to do. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Social distancing, quarantine yourselves. Get out when needed until things get better. And I'm one of those people, I am an optimist. I look at life, I look at situations, no matter how dire, as half full, not half empty. So tonight, as much as I want to lick my fingers, I got on my signature purple gloves. And we will get through this, people. You must adhere. Better we do good in self-quarantine than to have martial law come into play. So, we're going to keep this now on a high note. Welcome to the channel. And we're going to start off my mini mukbang with purple potatoes. Purple potatoes that have been boiled and then scorched with the baking. Got a nice hard crust over everything. And then like uh, two eggs and then some beautiful blackened pigtails. Now, my signature sauce, I have two, and both are aphrodisiacs. One is this beautiful golden color sauce, and the other is the green. But I use them in different modes. So there you go. How's that for them now? Okay. Don't want to spill that, but it's very chunky. My sauce is a beautiful aphrodisiac, beautiful golden color. Filled with goodness in it. Like, yeah, those are the pineapple effects. <laughs> and so I'm going to be dipping, but no licking. Also, I am... Um, Still thinking, should I go ahead and enjoy a nice cigarillo? I did state on my, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Love the purple potato. Tastes just like a regular potato. That's one of my signatures when I get ready to do like, um, let's see, food balls or hamburgers and stuff like that. It's beautiful in color. So I was like, let me get my purple gloves. See, it's a beautiful, rich taste. That could be a cool thumbnail too. But let me get to dip in here. Pretty quick. And it does have a nice 
heat kick. The heat kick is really, really good, but it's not overpowering. Mm. One thing I will say, Whatever your dish is, it should be the star of the show. So if it's too much heat in there, that's, in my very strong opinion, is not what a good cook would do. If somebody wants something spicy, give them spicy. But, They should be tasting the elements of whatever they're eating. That should be the uh, shining star. So yeah, boil the potatoes and then put them on a baking sheet. And they're really rustic. I really want a rustic dish here. Mm. I like the purple gloves. A lot of people are doing what they can in terms of, I'm going to try and set this instead of keep it reaching over because I know that's annoying to me. So, it must be annoying to you. So, I think that would be the better way just to kind of do it that way. And then I'm, I usually don't dunk nothing in my sauce like that. I'm kind of breaking a rule. But I'm going to dunk the eggs on top of the sauce because usually I don't do that I just like to kind of dip in or whatever but uh, you know people are doing the best they can under these strange circumstances that we have not found ourselves in not we have but um, I will be talking more about the COVID on 1021 Magazine's channel um, I was thinking about doing it tomorrow I don't know we'll see I might do part one tomorrow. I have it set for 11 a.m. We'll see. But thank you so much for logging in to the channel here. These beautiful pieces of garlic and... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to licking my clean fingers. I was like, put the gloves on and be real cool with it. So we're going to be talking about Sada Abe's chart, her life chart. So I wanted to kind of get this late night snack in before we talk about that. heat just bounces right off of this sauce. Um, I have my secret ingredients, but the biggest thing about this sauce, it has um, ingredients from, um, you know, different cultures. In my culture, it would be Cuban, and then flip on over to Middle Eastern spices, Asian spices. Look at the color on this majestic purple rustic potato. Look at that. That's beautiful. And now you ball it and then you Put it like if I had a wood burning stove, that would be great to put it on, but I had to improvise. But it was soaking in all the great goodness that complements my sauce. So, I'm gonna try one of these eggs, slippery little suckers. Remember that from um, Pretty Woman. I 
I've got the beautiful music by Johnny M and Mix and DJ Activities. And their music, their compilations have really been getting me through all this craziness. Their music is real healing. So, oh my goodness, I hope this doesn't slip and trip and dip. <laughs> Trying to be steady with that. But it's really good. Oh. one of the pigtails here and then we'll get started crested it and right there beautiful beautiful color off that so everything seems to be perfect if you can get a good taste off your food without Dipping it into that sauce, you've done really good. The sauce is just a nice accompaniment. That's what you've already done. It's nice and crispy, but still a little bit with that greasy goodness. <laughs> mm. So yeah, music is healing. And um, I said I was going to jump on and off the subject, but um, a lot of people I think are not taking it as serious, just like any other diseases, um, for those who are not taking it serious until they know someone personally who's died. Mm -hmm. You know how it goes. These are pigtails, how we're going to bone them. So, sometimes that will make people take it seriously. And then it's hard to believe they open beaches back just when they close some. I mean, these governors, these states have to stay consistent. But I know of two people, not personally, but friends of the family. And this is true, 100%. Two were hospitalized. And the other two were husband and wife. We found that out um, earlier today that they both died. They were in the 80s. My mother got the car. I don't know the people. But she knows it's her classmates. Uncle and aunt. Both went in the hospital. And then I see So rest in peace to them. Rest in peace to a lot of people who on the daily were getting these reports of these people who are dying. And we are getting good reports of people who are surviving too. I'm a real big yin person. I'm going to have one more bite of this and then we can start the reading. Natal chart of Sada Bay. Welcome to the channel. I, um, I'm a big believer in being this yin zen as possible mm. purple potatoes there we go <laughs> this dip is everything too this pineapple is really good too the pineapple is in a savory zone no it's not Super sweet. Mm -hmm. Probably as if you probably grilled it, grilled fruit, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have one more. This 
small and pigtail. So when it hit close to home, I think that's when some people will wake up, but people really need to really wake up now because We're all in this together. I love the unity that we're seeing despite some of the foolery of some people not taking it seriously. That is so good. I really do not feel like stopping. <laughs> I have to stop myself. Because everything is so good. the last of the purple potato <clears throat> but pop this pineapple here and we're going to get into the reading and I have the rest of this later got one potato one more egg and then back here I have one beautiful nice douse of curry turmeric <sighs> cinnamon very comforting very company super super company all right so what I'm gonna do oh my goodness I really needed to take this clothes off that's what I'm gonna do so voila the gloves go off this move on so um, that's what was on deck get my hands more freer you know we have a lot of companies that are working to make sure that when we're in quarantine um, unlike other people who have gone through viruses you know if you do history They didn't quite have the luxury of what we have. We have the internet, we have video chat for those who do, and we can get through still communication other than what people centuries ago had to go through. They didn't have those kind of uh, communications, so they didn't know if like loved ones were okay our children because it could have been in a, another place or even across the way but because of the impact of the disease uh, they couldn't get to them so we are blessed in that we have the technology for us to uh... all right so we are going to talk about Sada Bay and I thank you so much for being here with me. I think what I'm going to do is get a little dessert. I'm going to open up the cigarillos. This is the Neos Chocolate Selection by J.C. Newman of my city, Tampa, Florida. And my cigarillo holders I usually have them and stick these in and smoke it, but I have to clean those. As a matter of fact, I'll do a video just to bring different content because again, I did make the conscious decision for coronavirus. You know that it does affect a lot of things and mainly one is the lungs. I've had my pneumonia shot, but still we don't know what we're dealing with here. And so I made the conscious decision and the responsible decision as a aficionado to absolutely not smoke on camera or off camera my bigger rain gauges. So let me just go ahead and open.
open this ladder up. I had it on um, the off position. So I was looking at Sada Bay's chart. If you look at back at my recent visuals, where I talked about the Dragon Lady and even with the Dragon Lady, the third installment I talk about Sada Bay. The cigarillos are just a spilling. If you get a really good cigarillo, our rear feeling just has it would be a rig, bigger ring gauge cigar. So let's get into it. I pulled her chart. I love doing the um, natal charts on people. I love astronomy, astrology, you know, all about the planets, the heavens, and all that. So for Sada Bay, she was born May 28, 1905 in Kanda, Japan. Her rising sign is Virgo. That is a go-getter. That is a survivor. It's someone who is destined to survive at all costs. Um, very detailed. They push themselves to perfection. They want to be uh, the perfectionist for a professional level as well as for personal. So that wasn't a big shock there because she was born into a privileged family. Um, but the chart course of her life, uh, she would see the, uh, the rough patches of yin and yang and more yang. Very self-assertive are Virgos and they can be super critical of themselves and others and, um, they expect the same type of perfectionist and loyalty from those that they love. And so with her lover, Ashida, uh, she wanted that perfect love between them. Very dedicated. And when she um, dismembered him, <laughs> his male organ, A consensual BDSM relationship. Bets her to the T for her rising sign. Now your rising sign is not your sun sign. This is the mask they say that you uh, greet people with or what people see from you. Her sun sign is Gemini. So here you have a twin. One of the well-known twins in the zodiac. There are three twins in the zodiac. That would be Gemini, Libra, and Pisces. I am a Pisces. My rising sign is Leo. So that's fire and water. So with Gemini, inquisitive about a lot of things, like to see how things work. Very conversational. Love joking around. So when Ashita was like, just keep choking me choked me to death. He was joking. She knew he was joking, but then things just kind of went a different way. Her moon is in Pisces. Here is where she can be very sensitive, emotional, and she can have the romantic aspect because Pisces are very romantic. She can be very considerate of others. She can be helpful to others, have a very good intuition. Mercury is in Taurus. Very visual. It still coincides with the visual of Virgo and the visual of Pisces. 
Pisces and the visual of Gemini. So you have a complex, mysterious woman. She definitely fits the dragon lady persona. A Mars is in Scorpio. That's a water sign, so she's very fluid. And she doesn't come off being anything else but herself. But when she has to go into the mask, she can. Very fierce. Very fierce indeed with life, with the people around her, and all of that. Her Venus is in Aries. So, with Aries, she has that flight, which is also a trait of Pisces, going upstream, downstream, disappearing at. So it's very interesting, complex reading for her because with Aries they are combative as far as confrontational, but then the Pisces is not confrontational, and then the Gemini is an escapist too. They don't like all that big high drama, and neither does the Virgo. So that would overrule anything else. Her Jupiter is in Taurus. She likes nice things, acquire nice things, like like to look good and indulging. Going back to Pisces, ruler, ruler Neptune. So Neptune gives you that freedom, that dreamy space where you can kind of wind down from the regular day to day and the real world and can go into the dreamy state and indulge but don't stay there too long. Pisces knows all about that and we do well going in and out of it easily. Her Uranus is in Capricorn and um, she will seek out common sense solutions to get what she needs to do in society. And her Saturn in Pisces, um, she may feel like sometimes things are out of control, but then that Virgo comes back and says, you got to get in control, a perfectionist, and get things done. Neptune is in Cancer. So she does it far too much being... Um, anything out of the pocket of traditional and classic. She loves her cultural heritage, all about her. And just have a cautious, cautiousness approach like many cancers. Her Pluto is in Gemini, back to the dual twins. Her North Node is in Virgo, and she lets others lead in that aspect, and that would be Ashita, her lover, let him lead, give him his desires, willing to please, and to be pleased. So for that short reading for her, I thought that was just really, really interesting uh, to see how her natal chart reads. There are a lot more aspects here. But definitely in her chart, she just has a different array of the zodiac signs as well as with the planets. And she definitely would not be considered a foregone conclusion. Not at all. So you gotta love that. To get your natal chart, you would need your date of birth, of course. Put in the variables, male, female. 
the city and state and most importantly if you have it on your birth certificate the time that you were born when you have that it can really give you the full complete chart of yourself and there are many free websites out there that would give you a free natal chart reading we definitely need to be good to ourselves in this time of uncertainty but collectively together we can get through this and um, along and along I will also be talking about the hysteria parts of uh, what people go through everyone is not as calm and we see that the people on the front lines who are giving us the care and trying to come up with um, a cure or to slow down this virus we definitely need to take some of the pressure off and that means social distancing and quarantining yourself and keeping everything copacetic and clean and hygienic and all of that wash your hands um, even in your own environment you know a lot of people are still looking for different things out there like the disinfectants and stuff like that and um, supplies that come in and go as quick as ever so um, for a lot of seniors they're telling them come into the stores early to get what you need more than ever we have to stick together and for my media family you know for those tuning in um, it can be overwhelming because they give such frightening reports some do and these are realistic uh, reports and sometimes they can be a little extra but what you have to do in your own environment is follow what has been set before you what have been set before us and do what we need to do accordingly my sisters and brothers of the leaf um, it is your choice if you want to continue smoking the bigger rain gauges of your cigar then that would be you you have to own it this is a lifestyle for my platform when I created the hashtag beyond the cigar I created my platforms to do more than just smoke on camera but to have different themes and there are plenty of more uh, creative content that would be coming your way just because I'm not smoking the bigger cigars there are going to be plenty of content to do we're down to the nub one more little puff <laughs> Thank you so much for locking in with me. Got my hair jewelry back on. Can you see it? There it is. So have an optimistic attitude. When you're in, there are a lot of things that you can do. YouTube is filled with a lot of great content. Crossword puzzles, do some gaming, and all that good stuff. I know me and my girlfriends, we meet in the blackjack room we all downloaded the app and we go in and you can send each other virtual cocktails and just catch up you can do video calls check on your loved ones and be about the end vibe so that was a really good reading on asada Sala Abe. You can look up her history. They have uh, movies that have been made on her life. It's just very interesting the whole dynamics of how things came to be. I'm a, a lover of history, so 
that really fits the groove really good. There will be more Cigar Saint Sister. Make sure you tune in right here on YouTube and make sure you tune in for this channel. I'm going to be unlocking some more of my um, pre-filmed visuals that have yet to be released. So there's a lot more content coming and you can follow Cigar Saint Sister on the following social medias. That's right here on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram also on Facebook. Thanks so much for locking in. I'm going to finish the rest of that delicious purple potato and those little pink potatoes and that one little egg off camera. And then I'm thinking I'm going to just end watching the news reports, okay? I've already been overwhelmed enough. Just take some time with meditation. Um, what I've been doing is just playing a beautiful meditation. Um, music list right here on YouTube that sometimes lasts for 10 hours so it's still grooving as I wake up the next day and um, I also try to watch some like-hearted movies you know the balance of everything because that's really important having that balance thanks so much for locking in everybody more to come own your choices self distance and um as much as you can find the joy throughout uh, the COVID-19. And uh, also rocking some green nails here, okay? <laughs> All right, everybody, this has been a really chill time. Thanks so much for locking in. More to come. And uh, the next time, if I do the live with live chat, come on in and let's talk about some things stay connected thanks so much for locking in new subscribers to the channel for this channel and the second official youtube channel cigar state sister live welcome to the tada squad this is a great squad great vibrations right here on this channel and on the other channel on all platforms i am a believer in keeping as much of the yang out of the way and when you do have the yin and the yang rise to your occasions accordingly so that's it everyone thanks so much for locking in be safe do what's right and uh let's get to the other side should that be for us in a better mind space and health space <laughs>